Good morning, everyone, and welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, my name is Elizabeth. My channel name is Shaitan Girl, and my sidekick, Miss Kalu, right on next to me here. I am filming in a little bit of a different location right now because currently every other room in the house is torn apart only because I've been just digging for stuff. It's Saturday. It looks like we've got either a snowstorm coming or some type of rain because coming up over the mountain doesn't look very pretty at all. It's not very promising looking outside. Um, yesterday was pretty decent. I was surprised considering January, um, some pretty decent weather, but it's, we go from such cold weather to warm weather. You know, that's why everybody's sneezing and snuffy. And I feel like I've got, I don't know if it's something coming. Um, I'm not feeling a hundred percent. I haven't, uh, but you know, when you have weather that fluctuates the way it does here and other States as well, it's just crazy. Um, yesterday I got out and about, uh, I actually went out early. I'm sorry. I just need a sip of coffee here. Um, I went out early because I had been waiting Basically, I've been waiting for over a week to get an authorization from my doctor's office because I see my surgeon on the 30th of this month uh, for some issues again. Anyways, I've been stressing for over a week, fighting back and forth and back and forth. And, you know, you don't get to talk to anybody anymore. It's just like, oh, my gosh, why do they have to make it so difficult? I understand that I am not the only patient. But when you put somebody in a holding pattern for a week and you don't return any calls, I have an appointment, this doctor wants to see all this stuff that day and it's like, you guys are killing me. And then you wonder when you take my blood pressure why it's so high and, you know, and I'm on two blood pressure medicines. Durr. So it's been a stressful week for me. It really has. Hopefully all of you out there have had a better week than me. For those of you that have not... It's, it's real, man. It's, it's real. It's life and it's a struggle. It really is. Um, I've been working in my family room. That's actually where I'm at right now. And I have managed to fill the top half of my curio cabinet is finished. Now I'm getting ready to go to the bottom half, but now I'm having, I'm having second thoughts about my three tier tray because the three tier tray that I purchased is black, which I love. But now that I have it in the room, Actually, if I flip my camera around, no, I'm not sure you guys will see it. I don't know. Now I'm thinking maybe I should go get a white one. So I'm kind of stalling. I'm not 100% sure what I want to do. Uh, you know, that's indecisive. What can I say? Uh, it's my prerogative. I'm a woman. I can do that. Okay, so enough yip yap. I just kind of wanted to fill you guys in on what was going on. So I ended up sitting in the parking lot for a store that I thought opened at 8 a.m. Um, actually didn't open <laughs> until... I think it was 9.30. So I hung out for a while. It was the entire strip mall where this strip mall has so many stores in it. TJ Maxx, Marshalls, um, Burlington Coat Factory, Rainbow, um, Michaels, Dollar Tree, whew, Hobby Lobby, Christmas Tree Shop. <laughs> you name it, this, this one shopping center that I go to has every store that you could possibly want in one little section uh, for the most part. So I kind of hung out, had my coffee. I was in the car texting Linda, you know, and I'm like, I'm sitting outside the store smoking a cigarette because I thought it was supposed to be open. And it was just a funny day, but I ended up me and Linda, Linda and I, it's Linda's fault. She started getting me all crazy on gnomes. And now I have like eight of them, I think. <laughs> Went a little bit nuts yesterday. I happened to be out and about and Linda's been looking in the city. I've been looking here in the country and we really have been, it's hit or miss. And you know, the gnomes that are out there for people that enjoy them are so stinking cute. And having a really, really hard time finding Valentine's Day ones. Um, came across some with some help from others. And um, they're just super cute. So I was really excited. I got into um, Home Goods and Marshalls really early. There was like hardly anybody in the store. And I walk around the corner and there's this whole section. And I'm like, oh, holy 
OMG. Don't worry, mommy's okay. She heard me go, oh, she got worried, thought something was wrong. I'm okay, good girl. And it was just like, cha-ching! I was totally all over that place. I was grabbing all this stuff, throwing it in my cart, shooting pictures, and I could tell people were starting to swarm around, and as I'm shooting pictures, stuff's taking me off the shelves and leaving, and I'm like, oh my God. So I grabbed a bunch of stuff, threw it in my cart, and started walking around the store. That way I knew I could at least have what I had in my cart. But it was fun. I was able to find some treats for myself, and I actually found a treat that I'm sending to Miss Linda for a holiday that's coming up. So it was really nice to have a little fun yesterday, um, which I so, so needed. Okay, have I bored you guys? If you're still with me after this five minutes, I love you to pieces because you guys must really be bored today. <laughs> All right, so I have so many hauls right now. Jewelry, clothing, Dollar Tree, but right now, today, at this given moment, I'm going to share with you something from a store called Just a Buck. Um, we have them in Chicago. We have them out here. I don't know, you know, where they're at geographically, but we do have them here in New York. Just a Buck is exactly the name of the store, and that's exactly what it is. Everything is a buck. Sometimes you'll get stuff two for a buck. You're never going to find anything over a buck. You're never going to find anything like 89 cents, 79 cents. It's either two for a dollar or a dollar each. And they really do carry a variety of different types of things versus Dollar Tree. I'm not saying they're better or worse. It's just different stuff. All right. I picked up this tablecloth. I needed a pink tablecloth. This is a 54 by 108, which will fit like a, a longer table, like a square table. So I got this in pink, and these I've used before. Now, I've used the ones at Dollar Tree. I'm not knocking them. I've used the ones at Just a Buck, and the ones at Just a Buck seem to be just a little thicker. It's like when you open the ones from Dollar Tree, by the time you open it to the final sheet, you can like see through it. And these just, in my opinion, are a little bit thicker. They carry them for round tables, oval tables, oblong, square, you name it. And they're all $1. And they have an array of colors. <clears throat> Excuse me. I picked up this package of Valentine. Well, it could be anything, really. It's 36 pom-poms. And there's a dark pink, a light pink, and then there's a red. So what I want to do is make some type of a, um, I'm going to sew together, like you know how you do popcorn on a string at Christmas time if you do that on your tree? I'm going to make something to go in my curio cabinet for Valentine's Day. Okay, let me move this over here because Kalu is trying to get closer here. All right, I then picked up a pack of bubble mailers. This one you get four in a package. At Dollar Tree, you only get two. These are the six by nine and a quarter. So again, at Dollar Tree, you get two. Here you get four for the dollar. So definitely a good buy. With as much mail as I send out, I need all the help I can with packaging because it, it's just expensive. You know, when you send something out, you're paying to mail it. You're paying for the packaging. You're paying for what's in it. It adds up after a while. I then had to grab this, and you guys know why. Look at this cute bag. Isn't that adorable? I thought this was so extremely precious. I just had to get it. It has a little heart tag on there. Doesn't mean you have to use it for Valentine's Day. Let me get this baby open so you can see the true size. It's a nice wide one. Of course, it's got your handles. And, you know, it, it was in the Valentine's Day section. It doesn't have to be Valentine's Day. You could, up, you know, remove that card. Whoops, I got it the wrong way. You could remove that card. It really doesn't matter, but isn't that adorable? I mean, that was just screaming. I mean, this could even be taken out and used in a DIY. It could be used in crafting, all types of things. Okay, I see this struggle is going to be real here because she is like right up against me, and I know it's all going to go toppling over. All right, then for Valentine's Day, this was something I've never seen before. I think I thought I got two of those. Bear with me. I did get two of them. All right. <clears throat> These are a two-pack of dishcloths. They're 12 by 12. You get this red one, and then you get another one that's got 
February treats. Isn't that a cutie pie? How cute is that as just a little hostess gift or just a little something something to a friend? The other package, let me slide off the uh, packaging. This one has more of like a blue, it's kind of bluish teal. And then on the front side, it says, be mine. Now these are washcloths or, well, you could use them in your kitchen. It says dishcloth on the actual package. It says dishcloth. So I thought those were kind of neat, you know? All right, let's see what else we got. What's in the bag? Huh? What's in the bag? What's in mommy's bag? What do we got? Oh, I needed some needles. I have no idea where my needles all went when I moved the last time. Um, a lot of things were discarded. A lot of things were donated. So I'm kind of rebuilding my stuff, so to speak. So this is a pack of 30 needles, 12 sharps, 8 darners, and 10 embroidery needles. So I thought that was definitely a good buy for $1. Whoa, we're sliding here, Clue. Stuff is going to go flying. I know it is. I know it, I know it, I know it. Alrighty, staying in the Valentine's Day theme. Oh no, I wasn't calling you. Who wants you? You're stinky. You got stinky Frito feet. You wanna give me a kiss? Don't stretch on me. Okay, these, and I think I just lost the result. Nope, there she is. I wanna say these are almost 11 inches. Damn, I'm good. All right, so 11 inches. Isn't that adorable? Now, it is hollow on the back side because basically it's just for decorative purposes. Isn't that cute? And the height of it is two inches. The width is an inch and a half. So it's not super small. Let me bring it in a little bit closer so you can see. Isn't that adorable? I'm like, oh my God, what perfect timing. So that one I grabbed. Okay, we're definitely going to run. Let me just bear with me one moment. I'm scared everything's going to go. <clears throat> and I really, this whole room, all the furniture is covered in stuff. The next little sign I found, which is the same size, love makes every day sparkle. Isn't that adorable? There it is. Same type of piece, hollow on the backside. And then there's the decoration all the way around and even on the sides. Isn't that cute? Like if you're doing a tray or if you're doing a cabinet like I am right now, that is something super cute to put in there. So these were the only two styles they had. I don't know if they had any more, but so I grabbed one of each. And what do we got? What do we got? I thought we had some more Valentine's Day stuff. Oh, yeah, we did. Mommy's got it. Okay. This is basically, is there two in here or one? This is one. Um, this is, excuse me, this is just curling ribbon. And I know I put up a video the other day where I mentioned that I just take it apart, you know, and it, it's, I know how to curl ribbon. It's just sometimes it's easier for me to just grab a couple pieces that are already done and I can just toss it on something. So this is just one big ribbon, but I'm gonna end up separating it out because I liked it because it was so tiny. It's very small ribbon. It's not like your typical big ribbon. And I wanted to use this for some decoration purposes. What else do we got in your bag? Oh, these were so cute. These are made by HomeSmart. They're paper baking cups. You get 60 cups in total. And I just thought they were so stinking cute. Look at the designs on there. I thought they were so cute. They could be used for decorative purposes. I do sometimes make candy and sweets. So this is perfect if you're putting a truffle or doing mini cupcakes. I thought for 60 for the dollar, it was just, I wasn't gonna pass on that. All right, I think as far as Valentine's Day goes. Oh no, I finally found some straws that look like Valentine's Day. I'm still trying to figure out what's on that other straw. Some people say it looks like lips. Um, there's been a whole, I really cannot tell. I have a magnifying glass now, so I'm gonna check it out because I really wanna know what it is. 
This is a pack of 16 paper straws. Now they're done in like a off white, like an ivory color, but I think it's pretty clear that we've got hearts going on here. I think that's pretty easy to figure out that they're hearts. So I'm gonna use those in my decorating tray. For Valentine's Day, that looks like it's about it. Okay, so this is just gonna be a couple little things that I needed like around the house. I needed a new measuring tape. This is the 60 inches. It's just a regular measuring tape like you would use if you were doing measurements. And the reason I needed one of these um, is because I've had some people contact me regarding doing some reviews on clothing items and measurements are just all over the place sometimes. And you have to be really specific, especially when you're ordering online. So got that so I can make sure that I'm giving them accurate measurements. Also, needed some new cards in the house and I wanted some like regular style poker cards, not the ones with funny pictures and stuff. That's all fun and stuff, but I needed some poker playing cards because when I play poker, I'm taking your money. <laughs> but so I picked up a standard playing pack of poco, 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 poker cards. I'm telling you, it's in my Amazon cart. I just have not gotten there yet. Couple of cute, cute keychains. These are so stinking adorable. Let me take them out of the package. What I like about Just a Buck is a lot of their stuff is wrapped up in packaging, which I'm not saying is a bad thing if you don't have it, but it just keeps things clean, you know? When you got kids running around the store, picking their noses, wiping their boogers, and then they're like, oh, mom, check it out, and they're slobbing on it. I don't want that. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but I, I don't want it. You can have it. All right, let me take it off the packaging here. This is so cute because I think taking it off the packaging is gonna allow you to see it a little bit better. Oh, I didn't even know it had that on there. That's a surprise for me. Look at this little panda. Isn't this so cute? It's got little heart and rhinestones, and then you've got your keychain holder here, and then you've got this little tassel. Now, my opinion and my opinion only, I wouldn't be piling a ton of keys on here because I'm going to tell you right now that this is hollow. There's like no weight to it. But if you want to use it as an attachment on your purse, on a backpack, perfect for that. Then, you guys know what I have. I know you know what I have. I know you know. All right. I was very excited to see this one. Let me open this one up. I should have got another one. And knowing me, I'll go back and get another one. <laughs> okay, you ready? Look! Da, 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 da. Oh, isn't that cute? I just absolutely love it. Now, the back sides are black, which is totally fine. Because if you have it on a bag or something, it doesn't matter, you know, because that's the side that's up against the back. Now, I will give you a measurement. These are pretty decent in size. Just the unicorn portion itself is three inches. And then by the time you add that, you're probably at five inches. I just thought, how cute is that? Oh my gosh. Again, they come wrapped up in these beautiful little packages that I popped them out of. Just too stinking cute. Again, just different stuff than Dollar Tree. Um, okay, so I showed you the keychains. And then, oh, 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 oh. Let me take this out of the package to show you. Because in the package, it ain't going to do you much good. They have these journals, or you could call it a diary. Taking it out of the package. First of all, let me show you. As soon as I open it. It comes with a little heart locket that you place through the tab to lock your journal. Now look at that. Isn't that adorable? So you open it up by sliding the tab up and then opening it. Let me see, I don't know if it's lined. It is lined, but they're very, 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 very light lines. Very light, you're probably not gonna see them at all. Isn't that just too cute for a dollar? 
I was tickled to find these, not just only for myself. I'm just trying to get the latch back in there and I'm only working. And then of course you lock it with the locket. Isn't that adorable? I mean, oh my gosh. So I did end up getting two of those. And by the way, if you're wondering, there is the key to open it. All right, moving on. Wow, I had more in here than I thought, or I've just been yapping too much. All right, now they had, where are we at time-wise? Okay, we're good. These are just too stinking cute. Look at these little shroomies. For those of you that collect mushrooms, isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh. So they had this light pink, and then they had this dark pink, and then they had this red. And they measure, so if you have like a fairy garden or something like that, they would be super cute. They're two and a half inches in height. So I get up to the register and I'm like looking at it, you know, I'm checking out my stuff in the cart, waiting to check out. And I'm turning it and I'm like, oh wait, it's broken. And then I'm twisting it and going, wait a second, what, what's going on here? And I'm looking, it's a pen. Blah! It's a pen. So what they are is you twist them in, they're pens. Who would have ever thought that those are pens? Just too cute, right? Too cute. Okay, couple more things, couple more things. All right, they had these test tubes. And inside these test tubes, and again, I'm always, always going on wah, 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 about presentation. Now, I'm not presentation wise today. It's makeup, it's Saturday, I'm doing shit. I'm, you know, in the house doing stuff. But presentation, I think, is very important, especially when you're giving gifts and you're trying to make things look nice. It really makes a difference. So I'm all about presentation. This is a pen. And it's in, it says, oh, so yummy. It's a scented pen. Let me open this up. So first of all, it's in a test tube. And this is a pen in the scent of an ice cream cone. This is the one in the scent of a cupcake. Let me open this cupcake test tube. And then I take out the pen and look. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at the pen itself. And it smells like cupcake right like right you can reuse the test tubes for all kinds of things so i found one that's got a donut on it and then there's the donut on the front i have the ice cream and then there's ice cream on the pen i have the cupcake and the cupcake pen is right there last but not least oh no i have do i have two donut ones because i'm going to do a donut is a giveaway let me open the donut one again because this is going to be going into a giveaway. And here, believe it or not, is where the scent is coming out of the pens. They're clickable. That little rubber piece you see right there, you just pop off. That's just a protection from the ink draining. And they do all write in black ink. All right, last but not least. Wow, this turned to be a pretty big one, huh? I, she's sleeping on my leg and my leg is like numb. This is hog wild. It is a soft skin with moldable middle. I have no idea, um, but it's got a Tootsie Roll. It's a pretty decent size. I'm gonna open this up. It says, sticky on the outside, soft in the middle, I'm squishy. I don't know. I thought like it's maybe one of those squishy toys, but they just package it differently. So I'm opening up. Let me see what we got. Okay. Okay, so it feels like a squishy. Whoops. No, you don't want to eat that. Oh. Oh, wow. Ooh. It, okay, I'm not going to see what it feels like. <laughs> Anyways, it feels feels you know what it feels like i'm gonna tell you what this is okay so look at this look what you can do you can shape it into stuff you know what this is it feels exactly like silly putty 
Um, for those of you that have no idea what Silly Putty is, Silly Putty is a little putty that comes in an egg. It's been around forever. You squish it out, you put it on a cartoon from the paper, or you put it on something, and the design will rub off. You can peel it, you can snap it, you can put air bubbles in it. This is ex this is too stinking funny, because look, you can do all this wacky stuff, and then it slowly, I can form it back faster if I want to. Isn't that funny? And it looks like it might, it sticks to the wall. Do you guys see what I just did? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Kalu, Lou, Lou, look what mommy did. What's mommy got on the wall? What is that? What? Don't eat it. <laughs> All right, everybody. <laughs> that was my just about call. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I really didn't think it was going to stick to the wall. Until next time, everybody, we'll see you later on today because I have to finish my cabinet. Until next time, everybody, let me know what you think about Justin Buck. Bye-bye for now.